like to talk a little bit about power supplies for the microwave oven. Uh, Rudy's talked about the magnetron itself, which converts DC power, very high voltage DC power to the microwaves. But you have to get from the 60 cycle uh, line cord that we plug in somewhere uh, to that high voltage. And the early magnetrons and early power supplies back in the 60s actually required a power supply of this size. And we have it sitting here because it's too high, heavy to uh, pick up. But over the years, there's been uh, increases in the performance of power supplies as well as in the micro and uh, magnetrons themselves. So as I said, this one takes 110 volts uh, and makes it into a three kilovolt uh, DC supply from the AC. So it has to have rectifiers in it and a transformer. And you can see a very large blower to keep everything cooled. Now, as the market evolved from the very large uh, oven that was microwave to something that was a tabletop microwave, it was obvious something had to be done about the power supply and that this power supply wouldn't fit in this oven. So this is a relatively modern uh, tabletop uh, microwave oven. And you can see the magnetron that's here. And the magnetron has to be kept cool. So there is a fan that cools the magnetron. And down here, there is the transformer that actually built, makes the very high voltage, uh, high voltages that are needed for the magnetron. So the present system has been simplified to a relatively small transformer, but that transformer weighs almost 20 pounds, and that's what makes uh, microwave ovens heavy, is the transformer that's generating the three kilovolts that's necessary for the magnetron. Another interesting thing is, is that a magnetron really is a diode that's also operating in two modes. One is a diode and one is making mic uh, the, the uh, high frequency microwaves. And you use the magnetron and one other diode to make a very high voltage power supply. And it's called a voltage doubler circuit. It takes the high voltage uh, from this transformer down here and doubles it and brings it up to the magnetron where it's turned into the microwave energy. Now, even this uh, makes for a relatively heavy appliance. And the more modern microwave ovens now use a very lightweight, uh, high-frequency power supply this uses uh, transistors over here to make, uh, and this is a primary of a transformer and this is a secondary. So it provides 20 kilohertz power to the uh, primary and then this uh, multiplies that voltage up to the three kilovolts required for the magnetron. So now we can have a very lightweight, you can see this is easy to pick up. It uh, has many more parts in it but it can be made just as reliable as the conventional power supplies. But now you don't need as much space and uh, you can use more of your countertop for the cavity and for uh, providing the service that a microwave oven is trying to do. Major parts in a power supply, a high frequency power supply, if you come over here, this heat sink has a rectifier in it. So first, what happens is the uh, 110 volt 60 cycle power is rectified to DC. This little rectifier does that. Uh, it then is filtered a little bit with this filter. Then it, it goes to two transistors that are back here, which you probably have a little bit of a hard time seeing, but they have to be heat sunk since they do have heat loss themselves. And they chop the DC voltage into 20 kilohertz voltage, which then is fed to this transformer. The transformer has a primary where the 20 kilohertz is here. And transformers, of course, if you uh, 
have a step-up transformer like this, it can take the 120 volts and step it up to 3 kilovolts. If you notice, this has uh, separations in the output, and that's so that the voltage is so high on this that if you didn't have these separators, the uh, insulation would break down and the transformers would arc. So this uh, power supply then provides the high voltage uh, that's used to generate the microwave frequencies in the magnetron itself. It also is, uh, provides the filament current that heats the filament and then boils the electrons off of the cathode that's in the, in the, in the magnetron.